Okay, so on July 18th, I got uh, Abix uh, by Sonabello, um, which is a um, tummy tuck alternative done, like I just mentioned, through Sonabello. And uh, nobody tells you um, that you basically, yeah, it's not all sunshine and rainbows when you first get this body done because while they took my fupa and i really wish that um i had done a video sooner but it's been rough today is july the 24th i believe yes clock is on the tv july 24th um i have been <sighs> it's been rough as fuck okay um that's the only way i could describe it it hasn't been horrible don't get me wrong but it has not been um like i said all sunshine and fucking rainbows. rainbows like um what i like to call separation between church and state i had the tires i had the tire around my midsection and at the bottom and i you know it um i was ready to to just get the shit just I needed a change. I have never had a flat stomach, so I wanted to experience that. And I knew no matter how much I was going to the gym, um, I just don't believe, and you can say whatever you want to say, I don't believe that the gym would have been able to give me the results that I wanted within the time frame. That um, <laughs> let me just say, um, the procedure went really, really, really well. Um, I had no complications whatsoever. The doctor and the nurses nurse was outstanding, Dr. Mark. And I cannot remember the nurse name. It starts with an S. Oh my God, I cannot remember her name. I'm so sorry, but she was so sweet and loving and everybody made me feel so, so, so comfortable. So from the first, from the consultation until even the pre-op and the surgery like it's been a very good experience it's been that at home part because i'm still swollen and when i say swollen like you don't leave because i wasn't small to begin with they had to you know blow my ass the fuck up to get all of the fat <laughs> even bigger than what the fuck i was they had to blow me up so they could do their job properly and so i am slowly deflating and I do have what I like to call a muffin top. Now my back is is looking very, very, very smooth, but the front is still very, um, I can tell where it's gonna be flat, but it still has that, you know, that curve where they, he had to, um, where he removed my food but left me a stomach. They gave me a brand new belly button. <sighs> It has yeah, have some support here when I initially started my best friend drove from Alabama. Thank you, Tiffany. Mm -hmm. She drove from Alabama to um, be present with me for the last actually four days. Uh, she was here making sure I was good. And she you loved now. So I've been cleaning up and I have a little kitty baby here. Everybody say hello. Oh, she down phone to tux. tux. Say what's up. Okay. Say hey. He like whatever. <laughs> um, and so I've been um, doing what I need to do. I am still walking humped over, like, you know, because you can't stand up fully straight. I will say that, but I am, um, I'm not allowing the weight of gravity to cause me or give me an excuse not to move around. So, like I said, I'm cleaning, I'm folding, I'm in the process of moving, so I am packing, moving into a house. So, packing has been a lot of fun and taking things down. I've had some support from friends prior to, and I kind of did a lot of stuff before to make sure that I didn't, you know, wasn't trying to do too much because I wasn't sure how I was going to be. But I will say this to anybody that's interested, you know, make sure <laughs> that you you develop a fit physical fitness routine and i'm not talking about walking <laughs> don't don't just go for walks yeah you need to lift you need to be lifting you need to make sure you're eating good because your lymphatic system is going to be very 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 important to make sure your lymphatic system is in order while you are doing this 
they give you um, medications to take home for pain. I stopped taking the Percocets um, on the third day because they were making me so incredibly nauseous. It was fucking ridiculous. Like, to the point where I couldn't take the um, Arnica. And the Arnica is supposed to help with the swelling and things like that. So, uh -uh. I had to put the Percocets down. I had went, I've gone through all... I went through all the fucking nausea medicine. Had to buy Pepto, Bismol. That shit was making me sick because the damn Percocets was. I, I listen. No, I had. To, I said fuck this. <laughs> now when I do feel pain, I take me some Tylenol every now and again. But I haven't taken any pain medicines. Um, I haven't taken any. Mm, no, I won't lie. I took some this morning, and it is now about. Let's see what time it is. Mm. It's about five o'clock. It's almost five here. And so um I've made I'm making sure no it's four. I'm sorry. It's four No, oh no, it's five sixteen. I stand corrected. And the last time I took some was this morning and I just wanted to I just I could um I'm a, I'm a trooper. It wasn't this wasn't one of those things. It was evasive, but it wasn't so um, evasive that I wasn't I'm not able to function, you know. And so taking that pain medication was not making me comfortable. I don't like taking uh, narcotics anyway, and so uh, I was looking for a reason not to, and I found one. <laughs> it was making me nauseous as fuck anytime I had sugar, um, and so um, I have. Um, started to move around a lot more and that has helped and so i'm going to continue to chronicle this journey this is day one of five because this is the fifth day after the surgery because I, I just wasn't i wasn't able to yeah i really wasn't able to stand up or i didn't feel up to doing this shit which i did want to do it but i didn't feel up to doing it and so i've now i feel up to do it and i'm going to um chronicle the journey uh from this point on and so <sighs> come and see my ab x results with me ah!